Okay, I'm going to attempt to show you guys my version of installation of some generic uh, grip studs into a set of Bud and Lou 4.8 Surleys for my fat bike. Uh, we'll start out with uh, the stud installation tool. Must have. Comes with a package of studs. Then I have two other tools I like to use. We have this ratchet screwdriver, which works really nice for fine manipulation of the studs, especially in the soft compounds that make up the bud and lube. The majority of the work, though, is done with this little guy. That worked out a lot. There's no wrist strain, fast and easy. And then the last thing you're gonna need, and definitely not the least, is you're gonna need proper lubrication. So this is the type of lubricant I like to use when I'm installing studs and tires. It makes everything go smoother. Now, let's get on to a little bit of stud installation. Okay, we're gonna do a, a, a quick stud installation on a set of Bud and Lou's. I'm not gonna make a long drawn out video as I don't think it's necessary, but you'll see I have a manual ratcheting screwdriver and I have a little drill driver that is a very low torque, uh, low RPM. Uh, these Bud and Lou's are a tall block and a soft compound with a, some sipes in them, making them a little more difficult to install. The manual would be just taking the stud and putting it into the tool. Establish it in the tread lug. Give it a little bit of pressure here just to kind of seat it. Then just give it some turning. Establish how deep you want to put your stud in. I like that. And there you go for the screwdriver version and for the drill driver version. I'm going to take this again, put it in. Give it a little bit of working to get it established into that site. And that's it. Pretty quick and easy. I'll do one more. Can't imagine it any easier than that. So right here is a little helpful hint I found if using studs in the small soft knobs, say the center one, I found it much better to use the ratchet screwdriver for better control than using the drill driver. Sorry for the lack of production control here, but you get the idea. I thought we'd uh, give you a chance of seeing a, uh, a loo turn into a stud.
getting that auger bit in there and applying the right amount of pressure is key otherwise it's pretty easy to snap the little stud right on out and it goes flying across the room the sharpest part of that auger into the, the sipe and the knob and there she is So here is the bud, as far as I'm going to leave it. Give it a try like this. Looks like a decent pattern. I ended up with uh, 140 studs in, uh, in this bud. So this is what I came up with for the Lou. Um, it's uh, 152 studs. Um, just looks like a good pattern to me again uh, with what I had for studs. I'll be interested to see how well it works out.